Welcome everyone. Big welcome to all of you and thank you all for joining us today. I've been looking forward to this moment all year and I know many of you have too. So today we're here to talk about our brand new CPU core. You've all been waiting for it. It's all about Zen 3. And with Zen 3, we focused again on bringing the best to the PC market. Zen 3 increases our lead in overall performance. It increases our lead in power efficiency. And also now, it delivers the best single-threaded performance and gaming performance as well. We've made massive changes in the core architecture, and I'm sure all of you want to know what's inside Zen 3. So now let's see Zen 3 in action. I'm so proud to show you for the very first time the AMD Ryzen 5000 series for high performance PCs, the world's first Zen 3 powered CPU. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. 12 cores, 24 threads, and a boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. It's a very special product, the ultimate enthusiast processor. Compared to the 3900XT, the 5900X has 19% higher IPC higher clock speeds, and all of the Zen 3 core improvements that Mark talked about, all while remaining at 105 watts. This makes Ryzen 5900X a big upgrade from third gen Ryzen all around, but especially in gaming. Now let me turn it over to Robert Halleck to show you the 5900X in action. Thanks, Lisa. Hey everyone, let me give you a sense of just how much faster the 5900X is compared to our current best, the 3900XT. To do that, we're going to use Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a game I personally love, and a game reviewers often look at to judge CPU performance. We're going to run the built-in benchmark here at 1080p using the high image quality preset on two otherwise identical systems. You can see a whopping 28% increase just by moving from the 39XT to the 5900X in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And as you will soon see, the performance from the 5900X is faster than the competing processors as well. Now, as any enthusiast knows, 28% from a processor change is a massive upgrade. But that's what AMD customers like me can look forward to. This truly demonstrates the gaming strength for Zen 3 when you combine the historic IPC uplift, unified cores, and unified cache pools. Now, as we zoom out to look at a wider set of games, you can see that the 28% uplift in Shadow of the Tomb Raider is joined by many titles with significant double-digit performance improvements. The gains are even bigger in titles like CSGO and League of Legends, where the highest possible frame rate is practically the number one priority to be competitive. Overall, gamers upgrading from the Ryzen 3000 series to the Ryzen 5000 series can expect an average performance improvement of 26% at 1080p. Now, as many know, strong gaming performance relies on strong single core performance. That's exactly what Zen 3 has. And I want to show you using Cinebench R20 single thread. There are many ways to assess single thread performance, but Cinebench is a fast and easy tool that you can run at home. And it's one of the 25 workloads that we used to calculate the 19% improvement for Zen 3's instructions per cycle. As you can see, the 5900X is the first desktop processor to ever break a 600 score. And we don't break it by a little, we break it by a lot with a score of 631. We at AMD heard you loud and clear as you challenged us to continue investing in single core performance, and the results speak for themselves. The combination of IPC, frequency, cores, and cache give AMD the fastest cores in the desktop market and give you the best possible gaming performance. So let's take that landmark core performance into a head-to-head -head battle. Across the same set of games you just saw, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X is a clear winner at 1080p. As I promised you, AMD wins in Shadow of the Tomb Raider by plus six, and is joined by many other games popular with reviewers and users like you. League of Legends and CSGO are once again standout victories for the Ryzen 9 5900X. Now let's bring Lisa back up to give you more details on these awesome gaming processors. Thanks, Robert. That was fantastic. 
I hope you are all now convinced that the Ryzen 9 5900X is the best gaming processor in the world. Now let's look at the stack. In addition to the 5900X, we have the 5800X, an 8-core, 16-thread processor with boost frequencies up to 4.7 gigahertz at 105 watts. And we also have the 5600X, a 6-core, 12-thread CPU with boost frequencies up to 4.6 gigahertz at 65 watts. Now let's talk about price and availability. The 6-core 5600X is $299. The 8-core 5800X is $449, and the amazing 5900X, combining the leadership performance and power efficiency of Zen 3 in a 12-core 7 nanometer design, is priced at $549. And all of these will be available globally on November 5th. We're really proud of the 5000 series, but you know we're not done. We love our enthusiasts, and there's one more processor in our stack which is the ultimate processor for gaming and content creation. For those of you who want the very best processor in a desktop PC, we have the 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X. The 5950X is simply an amazing CPU. 16 cores, 32 threads, and our fastest processor with boost frequencies up to 4.9 gigahertz. The 5950X breaks the Cinebench R20 single-threaded record that Robert set just a few minutes ago with a score of 640. It is truly the best in class in every dimension. Best gaming performance meets best processor for content creation, and all of this still at 105 watts. Now let's take a look at some of the performance. If we look at the generational uplift from the 3950X to the 5950X, we see up to 27% more performance in CAD workloads and 12% more performance in rendering workloads. More impressively, we see up to 29% more gaming performance. And this is really how we bring the best of both worlds together. One processor that delivers the best power efficiency, our highest clock speeds, the highest single core performance in the industry, and the highest multi-core performance of any gaming processor and it's priced at $799 and will also be available globally on November 5th. But you guys send me a lot of notes and a lot of tweets, and I know that you're not just excited about Ryzen 5000 series, but there's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and curiosity about our Radeon lineup as well. So the next few weeks are just an amazing time for us. In addition to introducing our Ryzen 5000 series, we're also going to introduce our next-gen Radeon GPU and I want to give you a small preview of that today. It is absolutely gorgeous and by far the most powerful gaming GPU we have ever built. We got a lot of requests from our fans on social and I heard a whole conversation on The Full Nerd last week about wanting to see Zen 3 and Big Navi in action. So today I'm going to show you a preview of what you can expect from AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and our Radeon 6000 series. So let me show you today Borderlands 3, which is a very popular AAA title running at 4K resolution on the Ryzen 5900X and our Radeon 6000 series. Just take a look at that performance. Over 60 frames per second at 4K with beautiful image quality. In addition to Borderlands 3, here's a bit more of a performance preview on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Gears of War 5 at ultra settings in 4K. And again, what you see is tremendous 4K performance across the board. We still have a few weeks until launch, and the team is working really hard on fine-tuning things. But I hope you're as excited as we are about what Ryzen 5000 series and Radeon 6000 series can do together for your next-generation PC. And make sure you mark your calendar for November 5th to find Ryzen 5000 series on shelf worldwide. Take care, and see you soon.